My name is John Ellison. I'm an entrepreneur on a mission. Hey, good morning. John Ellison here. Today is day 11. You've heard the spiel. I'm sharing little snippets of my life. Today I'm going to talk about my morning routine. So before I became a father, my morning routine was quite rigorous. It sometimes lasted about an hour and a half, even two hours. I was working remotely, so I didn't have a commute and I basically replaced my commute with investing in myself. Um, so I'd start out and the first thing I would do would be meditate. And then I would uh, emerge out of meditation and I would do 15 minutes or so of yoga or Pilates or some type of movement. Um, I then started playing with the seven minute workout, which is a really great routine for just getting your heart rate up, exercising uh, in a short amount of time. Uh, I've used different apps for that. There's a app called Seven that I use for the seven minute workout to this day. After I've done my exercise, I would read um, for sometimes up to half an hour, usually about 20 minutes, kind of Pomodoro style, you know that about me now. Then I would write in my journal. Um, I had been hand making books that I'd written in for many, many years. And I used to write a thousand words a day, but I'm not in that phase anymore. Um, so I'd hand write in my journal. And then once I'd done that, uh, I would look at my purpose map or whatever kind of visual demonstration of me that was helpful. And I even played with affirmations a bit, which is uh, affirming specific beliefs of myself and of the world that I needed to hear. Um, sometimes our self-talk can be very critical. We can be our biggest critic, <laughs> myself included. And affirmations are a great way to overcome that negative self-talk and to reaffirm the good people that we actually are and to be kind to ourselves. I haven't done affirmations in a while, but they are actually really helpful once you can get over the kind of cringe feeling of telling yourself something that you want to believe. Um, so that was kind of the stack and the structure of my morning routine, meditation, exercise, reading, writing, some type of visualization, affirmations, and then boom, <laughs> You've invested massively in the things you care about most. Go start your day, have some breakfast, have a shower, get some work done. If nothing else works, you've done amazing work in that hour and a half period. But then of course I became a father and uh, I don't have an hour and a half to just throw around like that. So my morning routine is much more condensed. So I usually wake up first thing, uh, my son is calling my name or Dada I'd say, and usually uh, saying tractor or bus or whatever else he's into that morning. We read a book, we hang out, uh, we often go down to the hens and collect eggs, uh, come upstairs and cook, uh, eat breakfast together. He really loves making coffee, loves grinding the beans. Uh, I've even started letting him pour the water. <laughs> he's, he's getting a little bit more technical now. Uh, and then we hang out until my wife wakes up. She sleeps a little bit more because uh, she has rougher nights than I do. I get to tuck away and sleep while she hangs out with my son and um, puts him back to bed after he wakes up. And then I do my morning routine. Um, at least the routine I have on my own, which is a condensed meditation, usually about 10 to 20 minutes. I'm currently going through Sam Harris's Waking Up app. I've done his 50 day course. Um, I've gone through some of the other instructors and I've really enjoyed the, uh, I think it's Effortless Mindfulness by Locke Kelly. That's been an amazing series for me. I used to do Headspace. Headspace was great. I've done like the meditation timers on Guided and really I just try and mix it up a bit and try different things over periods of time. And then I do my seven minute workout after I've meditated, get out on my yoga mat and uh, put on this app called Seven, usually throw in my AirPods, bounce on some music and just work out as hard as I can for seven minutes and I'm done. And that's the extent of my routine. <laughs> hey kiddos. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. It's a really key part of my day. If you haven't experimented with a structured morning routine, check out the book, The Morning Miracle. Very powerful. The author has had an incredible journey um, it's a bit extreme if you take it uh, literally. It can be quite intense. 
Uh, after I started working with BJ Fogg, I realized the importance of starting small, the importance of celebrating baby steps, <laughs> and being really kind to yourself because actually life is hard and change is hard, and you're not going to be perfect. Um, even if you just do, you know, two or three minutes of meditation, that's amazing. That's so much better than doing none. Do what you want to do, don't do what you think you ought to do. Your heart knows, your mind knows what you need. Listen to that still, quiet voice <laughs> that speaks to you. That's me, day 11, morning routine. Hit me up with any questions or comments. Hope you're well. Have a wonderful rest of your day.